Sanctuary Hills. My lord, what a beacon it has become. Okay, so. <laughs> a lovely... Oh, for God's sake, don't start talking to me, woman. Oh, hello, you've brought a dog. Oh, why would you come now at the beginning of a video? I want your dog. No, no, I can't. I'll come... Ah. Oh. <clears throat> hey, General. What? Okay, I don't get the dog. Never mind. Right. So, anyway, where was I? Yes, the Brahmin. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to apologise in advance, okay? This show around is improvised. It's going to be glitchy. Um, I am on console, so I'm playing on Xbox One. Ada's yapping away. God knows what she's on about, the poor woman. Um, I've got no mods installed. It's all vanilla, this. Um, I've almost hit the build limit. So frames might drop a little bit. I have seen some lag. There are 23, I think. Let's have a look. Uh, yes, 23 people. You can see all the stats at the top. It's going okay. You can see the size, the happiness is going up because I've just put um, a shop down. So, we're going to do, you know, a little bit of evil Viking style. Um, good old Dave. We're going to sort of go through, I'm going to speak about the lore, the reasons why I've put things here. You might have seen some of this if you watched the video that came before this in the playlist. Um, I saw sort of what it looked like back then, and things have changed a bit now. So, we're going to... We're going to skip to bloody... Skip to bloody daytime before we have a gander around them. So, I'm not going to cut this out either because I'm lazy and everyone's gathering in this one house. What is going on? There's a mother's bloody meeting in here. Let's just, like, skip to 12 hours. So, yeah, right. Uh, I didn't actually mean to record this this soon. Um, I thought it was going to take me, like, an extra week. Um, but I've already started my next settlement, and this is going to take absolutely forever to bloody wait because of how much stuff I've placed, like an imbecile. Um, but, yeah... I've really, really enjoyed building Sanctuary, but I'm kind of at the point now where I'm like, right, quickly, move on to a different settlement before I get bored of the game. Like, quickly, there's like 40 settlements in the game, including DLC. Gotta move quicker. Um, it's very, very difficult building all of this in vanilla without any mods. At some point, uh, I might have to install like an infinite supplies mod, but that'll be the only mod that I use. Um... Otherwise, everything else is going to be legit, and I'll only install that mod after I've done as much as I can. Like, I'm not just going to give up in a few days' time and install it. This is taking so long. Right, 5am will do. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Oh, Ada. Ada's mounted my face. It's alright, I'm sorry. Right, we'll nip outside. Brilliant, it looks a lot, lot better. So... Like I said, frame rates might drop. Brahmin are a bit glitchy. Just because they are. Hercules is yelling all over the place. NPCs kind of just wander around and don't really do anything because there's not enough jobs. Um, so you'll often see them just stood congregating, having a chat. But there are, like, like you saw, 23 people. You alright? Ah. So this is Hercules. Oh yes, Hercules, we're going to be naming all of our robots after things, I don't know what, I don't have a theme, but we've got these uh, lovely little scaffolding with the turrets on, obviously. Um, to get into Sanctuary, there are two areas of Sanctuary, okay? It was, it, it, en it engrossed. It erected, mm -hmm, yes, I know, it erected more than it should have. Um, someone popped in a pill, and I had to build a lot bigger than I expected to. Um, but we're going to start here. So, to get into Sanctuary, you're going to have to speak to Hercules, and, you know, if he deems you safe, you can go in. He'll have to, you know, frisk you, search you up. He's got his little baton if you want to start some uh, start some little trouble with him. Uh, you can see here, this does have a purpose. It's not as if I accidentally placed that. <laughs> um... I did accidentally place it, but I came up with a reason as to why it's there. This one, the same reason, but it's a little worse. Um, but yeah, if you want to come into Sanctuary, there are three entrances. There's this one, 
There is one at the back and then there's one at the side. I'll take us round. Curie and um, whatever his name is, I think it's Jun, uh, wander around quite a bit. So this is like a locked side door. Um, it's like an emergency one. So, you know, if you're under attack and you need to sneak out the side, you can get out. Blah, 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 blah. If you need to just nip out and, you know, maybe you need a Wii or something, you can go out there. Otherwise, there's this back entrance. Now, we are going to be approaching from the rear because the rear is a lot less impressive than Central Sanctuary. There's the inner sanctuary and the outer sanctuary. So we're going to go to the outer section first. So this is just a back entrance. Um, maybe for lost refugees that have been clambering in the wilderness for a bit. Um, traders that have gotten lost off the path or something like that. You know, you can come in this way. You can also leave this way if you like. I don't know, if you wanted to walk round or whatever. It's also an another evacuation point. So if there's a big attack at the front of Sanctuary and it's not looking good, like we're going to lose some people, they can run out and hide in these houses. They can take point in these houses, defend, you know, all of that cool stuff. I keep on getting those flickers and I don't know what it is. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. It only happens here, which I'm assuming is because of the build rate. Hercules has gone for a walk. He's following me. Of course. We are brilliant together, Hercules. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm not going to give Hercules an upgrade either. He's staying as a Protectron. So yeah, you've got these, uh, you got these things. I actually think Hercules might stand on this. So maybe he's in control of both gates, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, standard, standard defences, all that sort of stuff. He's just going to keep on yapping. I'll see if I can turn him down a bit. Um, we'll just silence the man. There we go. So we've got a little bell here, you know, ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, it's time to get out, we're under attack. Now this, I, I really hate the fact that, like, if, you, if, you're, if you're wanting to build something like this, go ahead and see if you can do it while keeping the debris of the houses here. Because I didn't try it, and I much would have preferred if I could have kept the debris here. Um, but I had just sort of this blank plot, and I needed to expand back a bit, because... You know, I was way too overpopulated, I didn't have enough room for beds, I wanted 20 plus people. So I was like, right, if I expand out a bit and take over another house and, like, this section, we're Gucci. But there wasn't enough building space for me to actually build my own custom, like, structure. So I was like, right, we're going to go to Old Faithful, I'm going to build a basketball court. It's really, really simple, um, really, really basic, but it works. It works for Fallout at least. You know, it looks good enough. Got a little dumpster. A little dumpster with nothing in it. Um, Nick Valentine over there just having a little stroll. I think all of my companions are here at the moment. I might have to get rid of a couple. Um, but yeah. I was like, right. A basketball court's pretty good. I might put something here in the future. Anything that I add in. Um, and there are still some things to add in. This isn't 100% complete. Um, but it's all decoration related. It's all cluttering and all that sort of stuff. I am going to build it like I'm just going to fill it to its peak. Um, but the state that it's in at the moment, I'm very, very happy with. And I'm happy for it to be out on YouTube looking like this. Um, but yeah, basketball court. Now, we've got our first shop up there, which we'll go to in a second. I haven't actually put down the stores. I've put down one store, but that's just because I'm low on cash in game. Um, I could have waited a little bit more, but it means more missions, and missions stack up and end up being very, very long. So I've managed to section off each house into, like, multiple smaller houses, and this house here is actually, like, two or three houses in one. So you walk in, it's kind of like um, an apartment complex, in a way, like a really, really small one. So it's literally, one room is a house, which might seem extreme but this is post-apocalyptic so then we walk through here i think i was meant to put a toilet down i didn't remember to um and there's not really a whole lot i can do with this room not without mods so uh, pardon you sir madam um so yeah this is its own little room they would like share food with their with my god see what i mean people just congregate randomly and they like tend to stare um, but yeah, any room with like these lockers in, I kind of like the concept of maybe these people are training to be Minutemen, 
Um, because the overall concept of this build is that Sanctuary is like a, a trying to be a rival to Diamond City. Um, and I kind of wanted it to be like, right, the more people... Oh, God, no, it started. The reaping has begun. Oh, there's this glitch, and I don't know why it happens. And it only ever happens at Sanctuary. Maybe that's just because I build here the most. But NPCs will just rise to the top of buildings, right? We're just going to have to completely ignore the NPCs that are here and imagine that it's a normal city. But the concept is that, like, the more people that arrive, they're like, wow, okay, we need to keep on expanding. So... This is the first expansion, as you can see, you know, you've only got like a small structure which would expand up and go taller and stuff as more people arrive. Maybe arch over here and connect to that one. Maybe they decide, right, we need to push the gate out further and the gate comes up to this section, they take over this house. And the concept is, like, maybe in 10, 15 years time, the entire neighbourhood has turned into this miniature city. That's the concept, and of course it's run by the Minutemen. Um... So yeah, ignore all the glitches, there's multiple people that appear to be suicidal apparently, which is horrific to view, I apologise, my lord, get down. Uh, they're usually fine once I TP away, but anyway, we come to two shops actually, there's uh, two, two shops in this section in the outer sanctuary and one shop in the inner. Um, hello. So this one here is a food store. We're going to have food, general, and blacksmith. So this is the, you know, you can see he's got Far Harbor fish. That's like his thing. He's like, whoa, we've got fish all the way from Far Harbor. That's a reason to come to Sanctuary and try it. It saves you going all the way to Far Harbor. That's sort of like the sales pitch for him. Um, you know, I've got food dotted everywhere. Just, oh... I've started pumping. Can we stop? Can we not do that? <laughs> um, so yeah, the next up here we've got the the Vault Tech Rep Shop, who he doesn't actually have a shop because he's up there. <laughs> um, but his his shop thing would go across here, and then he's had he's got like a little bunk down here. His assistant sleeps with him, of course, um, and you know he's got some racks on that he would display items with. But because he hasn't got a stall yet, he can't display those items. Um, but his appeal would be like, you know, I'm a pre-war vault rep, salesman, general store o owner. It's pretty cool. Come here and look at me. <laughs> um, oh, yes, I've got Ed Ada following me everywhere. So now we go into... That, that was the outer sanctum of sanctuary. Um, this was what I've added in, I think, today. I think I did all of this today. I can't remember. If I did all this today, I'm quite impressed with myself. Um, but this is what I've been doing over the past few days. Um, I did the, a large chunk of it in one day where I just sort of like grinded a load of supplies and just started building up. And then over the next day or two, I started decorating and putting in more detail and stuff like that. So we move into here. So of course, this is the, the entrance that you would usually come through. So you can see what it looks like from this angle. You walk in, you've got some cover. I like tents. I'm a big, big, big fan of these tents. Because they've got... They like they serve no actual purpose. I'm pretty certain rain just clips through it. Um, but it looks really, really nice. Um, and you can just sort of scatter them around. And I don't know, like especially at night time, it can create some nice lighting and stuff like that. Um, so yeah. We come down into the main street. The main street of Sanctuary. And we'll go to this original house here. So we'll, we'll, we'll explore the bottom floors and then we'll go up. So in here we have our robot repair station because we are going to have a second robot along with Hercules. Um, I don't know what I'll call him. Uh, it won't be Archimedes like our Borderlands. We're going to save Archimedes for the castle or something. But uh, we've got Hercules. This is where he's repaired and upgraded and whatever other robot and stuff. Every single settlement is going to hopefully have one of these workbenches. Um, because they're incredibly important for the Minutemen to have robot, um, like, soldiers with them. They're going to be, like, the brunt force for my version of the Minutemen. So we head in here. Mama Murphy is uh, actually the person who's in charge of the, the only functioning shop right now. It's quite annoying that she's not there. I might have to replace her. But we come into here, and this is like a common room, 
A common room for the two... In fact, I think this is only one house that um, is in here. Yeah, only two people live in here. We've got a little workout room, of course, where the lads can hang. You know, that's what guys like to do. They like to hang low. Um, a little, like, community kitchen area. This common room is basically for everyone. So if you're new in town, you can come in here and meet some people, talk to people. Um, I don't know why I've put mannequins up. I don't, like, I kind of like the concept that they act as settlers. You can sort of imagine that there would be settlers in here. Uh, they work better than the normal settlers, let's just put it that way. Um, but yeah, this is very, very straightforward, you know, desk, sofa. It's like a tiny little university dorm room. Um, and then, you know, communal gym area, communal common room, communal kitchen. You know, it's all shared in Sanctuary. Because Sanctuary's, you know, it, the people there rely on each other. So, out here, of course, like I said, robot repair. You know, you got some armour repairs. Maybe Hercules needs, like, a new helmet putting on. Um, you know, maybe his arm needs fixing. You sort it out on here. You carry it over, apply it, boom. Um, and, of course, we've got all the toolboxes on the floor, which would contain, like, screws and nuts and bolts and all that. So, now we're going to go over. Over here, you can see there's an open sign. That's one of the shops. So this is another uh, building complex kind of thing. Uh, this one's laid out a little differently. I prefer this one. This one was the first one I did. Which is why it's got a little bit more detail. Because um, I had a little bit more building room with it. So, you know, armor rack, uh, dresser, double bed, blah, blah, blah. Maybe like a, a couple that are training to be Minutemen would live in here. You know, a little bit of background into what they're into. So nerdy kind of stuff. You know, big patriots. They've got their own kitchen area, that sort of stuff. Then you come back here, uh, you've got a shared bathroom, which is quite nice. Still functioning from the pre-war, which is convenient. Now, this bedroom's basic. You will see some basic rooms um, because of the build limit. I apologise, but you can roughly see from like the way that I've designed this room what I would put in the room. I would just sort of clutter it up with like boxes and suitcases and armour racks and that sort of stuff. Um, because I don't have mods, which, yes, it will be a recurring theme, and she has just appeared, thank you. Um, so yeah, this is now, like, another back room for, like, a, maybe another couple, um, and we come in here and there's, like, a dining area for maybe both, you know, both families to hang around, do whatever. Um, I kind of imagine that the people living in that bedroom would also share, um, like, the couch area and stuff like that. We'll go outside to the store and take a little look at that. So we come round here. Everything's supported the best it can be. My phone's just gone off. There she is. So, Mama Murphy has an apprentice. Of course, Mama Murphy, very famous for taking out a deaf claw with one bullet, apparently. Or it's something very similar to that, if it's not that. Um, so I thought it would be convenient for her to share her wisdom and have her own little salvaging blacksmith area. So, we come in here, you know, you got armor out, she's going to stare at me gormlessly because I've refused her drugs. Um, you know, she's fixing up my power armor, she's fixing up a minigun, improving it and stuff. She's, like, salvaging stuff, fixing uh, bits and bobs for, like, Hercules, fixing everybody's weapons, basically. Um, and this would be a pretty significant thing, because if we take a look at the map, there's no, like, armor-related area on the map like the closest you're gonna get to somebody repairing your armor is in diamond city so i thought it was important to do something like this like you can go to drumlin diner and buy chems and general store related things but you can't go that many places to get your gear like repaired so i was like right that's something that sanctuary definitely needs um around here we have some outhouses because of course everyone needs to poop I don't know if that has textured poop in. <laughs> I hope it doesn't. I'm now just sticking my head in a toilet for the sake of YouTube views. Um, we've got the punishment, of course. We've got the stocks. Uh, I've not put anybody in the stocks because I just kind of wanted it for a little bit of humour. The stocks being right next to the toilets. Some of the only toilets in the settlement, so they're going to be used a lot. Here we have the Tower of Power. This is a very, very old idea that I had of, like, all of the power being together. 
And you can see the sort of generators over there. And, you know, there's generators scattered around the place. But this concept of, like, generators in towers really, really excites me for some reason. I'm like, oh, this is like a really, really post-apocalyptic version of, like, a nuclear tower. <laughs> like an electrical tower. It's nice. Like a pylon. <laughs> I was like, yeah, sure, okay. That works. Um, so, yeah. That's all the bottom row. We've got two more floors to go. Isn't it exciting? Now, things are very, very similar because Sanctuary is just a settlement. It doesn't have that much behind it. It's just trying to survive. It's trying to expand. Like I said, you know, over the years, it will probably take over the rest of this area. If I had, you know, the capabilities, i.e. a PC to do this on, I would download mods that made it so that I could, like, breach the limitations. Because, I mean, I can do that on Xbox, but then it crashes and uh, saved games get corrupted and stuff. But I have built a motel before, which I would like to do um, in a settlement. So, if I was going to build a motel, that would go there. Um, but, yeah, that it all links back to that concept of expanding out and stuff. So, if I could expand out further, you know, I'd build a motel here building all these houses, build on top of them, branch them over, you know, have stuff going across all the streets, so that literally every single area of Sanctuary looks like this inner section here, where it's all arching over, it's all supported, you know, it's very overcramped, overpopulated and stuff like that, because I just love that concept. Um, so yeah, the only, in fact, no, it's not the only way, there's a way over there, but we'll ignore that because it's a little less cool. So we've got a little campfire, um, with an alleyway that leads to the side door and um, a potato, potato patch, a little potato patch. Um, so yeah, we come up here, and we've got some little miniature dorm rooms. Now these are the kind of dorm rooms that traders would stay in, like caravanners, people that aren't going to stay here permanently. You'd sort of rent them out a bed, and they could stay in here for a few nights. You know, there's about what six? Yeah, six. Um, they've also got a house around here. They would share the quarters, the, the communal quarter area. I'm just making words up now. They would share this like dining room, living lounge area with the people that live here. Because, like I said, it's all about community here at Sanctuary. Um, so I really, really like these open balcony areas as well. I'm a big, big fan of balconies, as you can see over there. Um, there's one, like, right there. You know, the balconies bloody everywhere, just scattered around, because I like to be able to look down and over across settlements. Uh, so we come around here, and there's, like, another little community common area. This is the one that I was thinking of, not that. So this round here is an actual house. Uh, so the people that are renting beds would be able to use this area. You know, they've got, like, a little stand here where they could probably brew some sort of, like, toxic alcohol... Um, you know, they could play some cards at the table, blah, 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 blah. You can pretty much do whatever you like there. Then we come across this walkway, the first walkway, there's another one up there. Um, we come across this walkway and we've got another house. So this house is one of my favourites, just because I've got pretty much everything that I wanted in here. So we've got four beds, they'd probably be like four roommates that are just like living together. They've decided to like equally live together. They're like, fine, okay. Post-apocalyptic, I'll live with you. You know, they've got the couches, the bed, the fridge, dining table. They've got all their stuff ready just in case there's a raider attack. Because Sanctuary isn't big enough to have, like, a war with somebody. So if a large enough group of raiders turn up, a lot of the civilians are just going to grab their cases and run. Which is why a lot of the time you'll find cases piled on top of each other, like, together or hidden under beds. So that people can just grab and leg it. So we come up here, this is the last little section of um, of Sanctuary, there's another balcony there, and this is yet again another house. Uh, this is another one where I've sort of included everything I wanted, mine is like a fridge, I, I think I'd run out of materials. Um, and there's like, there are gaps here, because there were, I'm still debating about whether to include turrets. Uh, I might do, there's like Mama Murphy and somebody having like a meeting up there. <laughs> Uh, there were originally turrets here, and there's just like a random pole there, which isn't meant to be there, but I hadn't noticed it before now, so it's fine. I'll just leave that <laughs> and imagine. 
Uh, but this is primarily access to this radio tower. Hello! We're also on the roof. This is deliberate roof access because, of course, people are going to need to come out here, repair this, turn it off and on, stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. This is the first beacon of hope <laughs> in Fallout 4 that I've, that I've built. I'm hoping that if you've made it this far that you've enjoyed it. Please do leave suggestions, suggestions down below for any other settlements that you've got ideas for, as long as they're law friendly and they make sense and they're actually doable. Uh, mine is Hangman's Alley. That's the next one and I've already started it. I'm about a third of the way through, maybe halfway through. Um, but yeah, I've really, really enjoyed doing this. Also, if you've got any suggestive names for uh, robots, let me know. I've actually... I'll show you how I do the names on robots, because I do I do them a little bit weird. Uh, let me just... I'm turning all this on because I can't remember what triggers everything. Right. We'll go over to say hello to Hercules, so you can kind of see... Oh, you can sort of see it there. That I replace every other letter with, like, a number that would make sense. I don't know why. God knows why. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of like a theme that I have going on. So I'd like to call one Archimedes, I'd like to call one uh, Achilles, you know, I'd probably call one like, uh, oh god, Galileo or something. You know, I want, I want all my robots to be named after significant people, I have like famous names pretty much. Um, but yeah, this was Sanctuary Hills. Took a little bit longer than I was expecting it to, but I'm glad that we covered everything. Like I said, leave suggestions below. I'm open to all suggestions, but please do not be offended if I don't all like if I don't instantly jump at the idea. I've got like a few ideas already. So if you say something and I'm like uh... Oh I forgot to talk about these. I'll mention what these are, of course. So the concept of these is yes, I actually I put them down thinking they were walls. I didn't think that they were doors and that they opened. Um, but if they're ever under attack they can just slide that open and shoot out. And that's the same here. Oh no, we're under attack. Well, I'll just shoot out this window here because I can see perfectly out here where they're coming from. It was a little tiny idea that I was like, eh, it actually does kind of work. Um, but yeah, that was it. Hope you enjoyed it. I don't know when the next one will be out. It depends how much I play the game and, you know, how quickly I decide to use mods and stuff like that. Um, because I am also playing this game just casually, like, playing through it and trying to get, like, achievements that I haven't got before and stuff like that. I will be exploring Far Harbour, um, doing the Nuka World stuff. If you would like me to live stream it on Beam, uh, there's something happening over there, so we won't go too far over there. I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> but if you would like me to live stream it on Beam, uh, if you find my gamer tag, I am there. If you find me and message me and say, look, I'd like to actually see you build, or if you'd like me to do it in a video, let me know below. Please do leave this video a thumbs up. It took me a hell of a lot of effort to do this, <laughs> and I'm going to continue to be building them. I'm having a lot of fun, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.